friends uh, welcome to odi video tutorial this session i'm going to explain about uh, odi mapping transformation that is one of the transformation that is split transformation so what is exactly split transformation and when we are going for split transformation so if you have a requirement to split your source data and loading into multiple tables that time we can go for using the split transformation it act as a if then else condition like if you are if you have worked in uh, PL SQL or any programming languages, you will be knowing the if then else condition. The same thing if the condition is true, load into the particular table, and if condition is true, load into some particular table. So, like this, it will act as a if then else condition. So, let's look at one example uh, how to use a split transformation in ODA mapping. I am going to create a split transformation. So have a uh, three target tables and one source table and I am created table for department wise. If department number is 10, I want to load into employee uh, underscore 10 and if department number 20, I want to load the all employees related to 20 in 20 table. Same thing like 30 as well. So have a source table with uh, all employees. So first I am using uh, expression uh, transformation why because in future if you are getting any enhancements or any requirement change here you can apply uh, in your uh, expression then next your split transformation this is uh, my split transformation then drag your three target tables So, this is a mapping individual uh, target table. Okay. So, here if you click on split, if you go to split conditions, here you can see the output uh, 1, output 2, output 3. So, output 1 I am loading into employee 10 table, output 2 I am going to load in employee uh, 20 table. Same thing for output 3, here you can see. Okay. And uh, there is a split condition here you can find the option you can click on this edit and from expression I am taking the data where department number is 10 from first table same thing for second table I am giving a condition here you can see from expression 20 and expression 30 like this we can go for splitting the data from source table and uh, loading into multiple tables so these are the three tables and uh, verify the mappings uh, columns how so employee number is not mapped from uh, expression you can re-verify this Okay, and uh, correct. Uh, so one by one, you can verify this because I'm I'm not taking from bare employee table. I'm taking from uh, expression. Okay, so some of the columns is not not properly. Okay, same thing for second as well. So you can right click on this. Then I'm selecting a third second one. Go to individual and change the column name, whichever is not mapped. So, what will happen while selecting data from source? It will be applied uh, three filters and uh, on three C dollar tables that is called the splitting. Same thing for third. So like this we have to do the mapping. So number of your targets, you can revalidate all the mappings. Okay, then save your mapping. 
go to your physical layer and select your target uh, that is the knowledge models IKM here you can see I am selecting SQL control append I am disabling flow control so this flow control and the truncate table is for uh, testing only and in production environment you have to consider and you have to take care about uh, while using a truncate because in production environment if you are using a truncate it will truncate entire data be careful so all tables I am truncating for testing so this is three targets so three IKMs we have to select Same thing uh, sources, LKM we have to select for three sources. Okay, so three C dollar tables will be created for this. So default the global will be there. DB link uh, global knowledge model. I'm changing to SQL to SQL. Now you can save your mapping and you can run this. So I'm running this mapping. So session has been started, you can go to operator and verify the today's session. Now it is finished successfully. Now here you can see this. This is the first table and you can verify the source code that is employee for a department number 10. Same thing for second. You can go to code, source code, department number 20 and this is third one and here you can verify the source code third. same thing it is loaded into three target tables five records for 10 15 records for 20 18 records for 30 same thing you can verify at a database level this is for 30 employee uh, 30 table only department number 30 is available same thing this table only department 20 employees are available on this table department number 10 employees are available so this is the way we can go for using a split transformation in ODA mapping and based on requirement you can use these conditions you can use multiple conditions and you can load into multiple target tables so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel Thank you very much.